A vintage home movie from the 1950s pans across the table where multiple family generations are seated for a holiday meal. Ranging in age from toddlers to older adults, the attendees are wearing formal holiday attire while enjoying turkey, casseroles, mashed potato, and rolls by candlelight. Home is a magical comfort place. Another 1950s era home movie depicts a middle-aged man wearing a polo shirt and slacks standing in the kitchen where an older couple hands him a fully dressed turkey on a silver platter. Laughing, the man jokingly pretends to strain under the weight of the turkey with mock grimaces as he slowly lowers the plate to the nearby table. Where a meal means laughing with loved ones over an old standby recipe. Another 1950s era home movie shows a different middle-aged man standing on a road near a field wearing an undershirt and slacks. He smiles as he scoops up an adolescent boy over his shoulder and pats him on the backside a few times. A medical record is a series of penciled in heights on the kitchen wall. Another 1950s era home movie shows two young children walking hand in hand with a toddler down the front walkway of a house on a residential city block. It's autumn, the front lawn is covered with leaves, and each of the children is wearing a formal overcoat, and the trio is trailing a woman wearing formal attire and an overcoat as well. As the kids walk down the sidewalk, the toddler trips and falls, and the woman quickly turns around and picks the toddler back up and stands her on her feet. The medicine cabinet patched up more than a few skin knees. A fourth 1950s era home movie shows a middle-aged man sitting in an easy chair in the living room. He is wearing khaki pants, a white t-shirt, and a brown jacket. He is also chuckling at the person operating the video camera while he eats a meal that includes a sandwich, baked beans, and a piece of cake. All of the food is spread out in front of him on a TV tray. And the waiting room is a chair that spent years getting to know our habits. Another 1950s era home movie shows one woman welcoming another woman in the entryway of a home with a hug. They are smiling, wearing dresses, and posing for the camera while three children stand in front of them, unaware they are being filmed. Home is where our loved ones casually drop by, and visiting hours are as wide as the day is long. A present day video shows an older man wearing a sweater, khakis, and a pair of glasses. He is standing at the counter in his kitchen, separating out pills from four different pill bottles. He then takes one of the pills and washes it down with a glass of prune juice. As we grow older, our health, routines, and priorities will change, but the comforts of home should remain constant. Pam Detterman, director of Vine Faith in Action, stands on a Duluth pier in front of Lake Superior in the late afternoon. She is wearing a flower print top with a blue sweater over it, as well as a pair of glasses. The buildings of the Duluth port dot the background behind Pam, as Pam talks. A still image shows two teenage girls standing in front of a house washing the front windows with a sponge and a squeegee. A video shows a class of older adults completing exercises at an indoor pool. A video shows a room full of older adults reading to themselves and each other in the community room of the Vine Center in Mankato. We know that for someone to live well in their own homes, it's much more than being able to look out a window that's been washed. It's really about how do you get out and stay involved in the community. A black and white photo depicts an older gentleman sitting quietly in a wheelchair on a brick patio. He is wearing a polo shirt, a ball cap, and khakis and staring off into the distance, while a caretaker stands with her hands on the wheelchair's handles. Cut to a video of another woman, Laura Hood from the city of St. Cloud, who is also standing on the pier in Duluth in front of the waters of Lake Superior in the late afternoon. She is wearing a cardigan sweater with her sunglasses resting on top of her head. She motions with her arms as she talks. We spend a lot of money on health care and living at that end of life. Then we need to be able to shift those dollars into supporting people to stay at home. Video shows an older man sitting in a classroom-like setting staring down at a table where he is painting a picture of a blue dog using acrylic paints and a small paintbrush. He is wearing a ball cap, glasses, a blue apron, and a red and blue plaid shirt. Cut to a video of a middle-aged man, Steve Greenberg from Jewish Family Services of St. Paul, and who is also standing on the pier in Duluth in front of the waters of Lake Superior. He is wearing a red striped polo shirt and sunglasses and has a name tag pinned to his shirt that reads, Steve. A lot of times in this society, especially the older generation, we've all grown up thinking part of growing older is to be depressed, and that simply is not true, and we're out to prove that. A series of images pans by the screen as a woman delivers a voiceover to accompany them. The images include 
First image, an older woman who is wearing a blue sweatshirt and a plaid button-down shirt hugs a nurse over her shoulder while smiling and posing for a photo. The woman has a colorful nurse's top covered with circles and she's also smiling. Second image, two men stand outside a blue minivan as snow is falling on the driveway. The closer, older man is wearing a winter jacket and gray sweatshirt and has his hand on the handle of an open car door. A younger, middle-aged man also is wearing a winter coat and has his hand on the top of the car door. Both men are staring at the car door. Third image, two young men in short sleeve shirts and slacks are walking out the front door of the Vine Thrift Store in Mankato while carrying an easy chair on a sunny day. Fourth image, an older man as well as a middle-aged woman and middle-aged man stand in a row arms around each other posing for a photo. The trio is in a residential garage and wearing winter coats and hats. In the background are various knickknacks and extension cords. This is why we do the work we do. The services we offer are so important and each success is a shared effort. The longer we support older adults in their desire to live at home, the longer they thrive. Pam Detterman speaks again while a collection of videos play. First video, an old woman wearing jeans and a pink hooded sweatshirt walks around an indoor track. Second video, two older women play ping pong in an activity room during the day while another gentleman looks on. Third video, a fitness studio full of older women wearing workout clothes complete repetitions of stretch and exercises but using resistance bands. Fourth video, a dozen older women sit in an audience in front of a podium waiting for a speaker to show up. The women are all laughing and smiling and wearing autumn attire, including jeans, sweatshirts, and light jackets. Fifth video, three older women sit around a square table in an activity center playing a board game and chatting. With the help of the Live Well at Home grants, we've been able to develop some services that we have really identified as being necessary for aging adults to maintain their independence. Tony Shogren of Rebuilding Together Twin Cities also stands on the Duluth Pier in front of Lake Superior. He is wearing a blue t-shirt and has a handwritten name tag stuck to it. After video is shown of him talking, a couple of images pan across the screen. First image, an older woman scratches paint off the rear porch of her home. She is wearing a red top and blue jeans and grimacing as she works to scrape the surface of the deck. Second image, a line of older people sit in chairs and wheelchairs in an open activity room. Each is looking at a black rabbit being held by a woman just out of frame and one woman is reaching up to pet the rabbit. By having this grant, we're able to help these people kind of recapture the life that they had at one point, but they've lost through disability or aging issues. In a short video series, an older woman moves between tasks in her small kitchen, first opening up the refrigerator and grabbing the milk, then turning off the coffee maker, and finally turning on the faucet to wash her hands. She wears a bright blue sweater. This isn't just about avoiding a hospital or facility. A video shows an older woman wearing a floral print top and trying to eat a sandwich at a cafeteria-style table. A nurse is also sitting at the table watching her, but remaining still. In a second video, an older woman in a wheelchair stares at a planter box with small green plants in it as a younger nurse points to the plants and talks about key aspects of each plant. The planter is located on a concrete patio, and the women are chatting underneath the midday sun. A video shows a slow pan of a group fitness class where more than two dozen women are slowly lifting dumbbells over their heads while holding their arms steady for balance. Each of the women is wearing workout attire like sweatpants and t-shirts. It's about access to quality, affordable services and support right where they live for as long as possible. Another video shows a half dozen older women sitting around a metal picnic table under an umbrella on a hot summer day. They are talking with each other and smiling and each is wearing either a floral top or a sweater. A video shows two older women sitting with a nurse at a table, reading pieces of paper and jotting down notes. The two older women are wearing floral print tops and glasses and appear deep in thought while the worker looks on quietly and studies their papers. A second video shows a nurse sitting on a couch reading from by the shores of Silver Lake to two older gentlemen. Both are wearing short sleeve polo shirts and reclining in a relaxed state. As she finishes a sentence, the nurse looks up at one of them. It's about being able to manage housework or sit with a friend and not worry about stairs, counting medicines, or having to figure it all out alone. Kate Baderman of St. David Center in Minnetonka is also standing on the pier in Duluth in front of the waters of Lake Superior. She is wearing a purple t-shirt and has a handwritten name tag stuck to it. After video is shown of her talking, a couple of videos are shown in succession. 
First video, a middle-aged yoga instructor and a fitness studio demonstrates an arch back stretch for a group of older men and women. The movements are all very calm and are performed with relative ease by the men and women wearing t-shirts and sweatpants. Second video, four older women start in a hunched over position and slowly raise themselves upright in a slow and deliberate movement. We were able to bring in fitness instructors into our therapeutic rec program and did yoga, which was really well received. Kate Baderman speaks again while facing the camera. Zoom in on an image of an older woman and a nurse staring at each other and smiling. The nurse has a colorful fitted nurse's top while the older woman is wearing a bright red sweatshirt. Well, the work with this project, really it was astounding to see the changes that the clients made. Next, Christy Barron of Horizon Health Faith in Action in Piers, Minnesota, stands on a Duluth Pier in front of Lake Superior. She is wearing a gray screen print t-shirt that features the words quality and buffalo. As she talks, a series of images zooms in and out of the screen. First image, three women standing under the awning of a residential building. Two middle-aged women are wearing sweaters and holding up the arms of an older woman. One woman has her hand on the open door of a car, while the older woman in the middle has both hands on her walker and is wearing a tan jacket over a teal button-up shirt. Second image, a charter bus full of older men and women sits in a parking lot waiting to embark on a journey. Many of the people on the bus are smiling and posing for the photograph, and nearly all are dressed for warm outdoor weather, including shorts, ball caps, and short sleeve shirts. Third image, three older women sit in a discussion circle in a classroom-like setting. One woman is specifically talking and counting items on a list using her fingers, while two other women look on. Outside the windows, the sun is shining, and a clock on the wall reads a few minutes before noon. An image shows three older women standing in a circle, having a conversation in a recreation center during the day. Church tables and chairs are spread out across the space, with two to three dozen people milling around in the back of the photo. The three women in the discussion are all wearing short sleeve shirts. One woman is holding a cane and a houseplant, while the second is holding an empty cup. In a second image, an older man and woman stand outside at a social gathering, most likely having been recognized for some award as both are wearing ribbons. The man is wearing a World War II veteran cap and yellow polo shirt and holding a plastic cup of fruit punch. The woman has a corsage and is wearing a white embroidered shirt. With the grant, we were also able to develop an education um, program called Independence Planning and our goal is to change the story of aging. Meaning, take the scary out of it, all the way from well, what are you going to do with your house, but right down to what does your end of life look like. Screen fades to black before cycling through a series of older couples posing in images. First image, an older man wearing a plaid shirt, ball cap, and work gloves kneels next to an elevated planter box on a bright sunny day. He has his arm around a middle-aged woman holding a cluster of bright purple flowers. Both individuals are smiling. Second image, a gray-haired man and woman sit quietly, gently smiling at a family celebration. They are sitting just with each other among a dozen other tables in the background packed by people of all ages. Third image, an older woman leans over a sitting man with her arms wrapped around his neck. Both are facing forward, smiling for the camera and wearing sweaters with button-down shirts. It's about helping older adults live without fear or constraint. One simple belief with a measurable impact. Live well at home. Image fades to black and white screen appears. The words live well at home are displayed across the screen in blue type. Just below this, a line of words appears, proudly supporting grantees that provide services for older Minnesotans and their families. These words fade out and new lines of text fade in, displaying the different services offered by grantees of the Live Well at Home program. Caregiving support, home modification, home making, housing, transportation, health promotion, home delivery, community options, adult day, care coordination, and chores. These words also fade out. Then the words supported by appear at the top and directly below these words are two logos, one for the Minnesota Department of Human Services and the second for the Minnesota Board on Aging. 